Now, with so many secrets, the country has earned its reputation as a hermit kingdom. Tonight, CTV's chief international correspondent, Paul Workman, on an attempt to unravel the mystery by turning trash into treasure. In the world of academic research, this has to be among the strangest, collecting North Korean trash on a South Korean beach. But there he is, Professor Kang Don Wan, sifting through a bag of litter and happily risking mockery to do it. Others call this trash, he says, but I call it treasure. It's important and useful in understanding how North Koreans live. Plastic drink bottles, snack bags, used toothbrushes, 2,000 academic artifacts, otherwise known as garbage, washed up and gathered up on coastal islands over the last two years. When the wind blows and the waves are high, something always washed ashore, he says, and I was always so happy to find it. Like candy wrappers that list tree leaves as a replacement for sugar, meaning sugar is scarce in North Korea. Detergent bags labeled friend of housewives. Dozens of artificial flavorings, which likely means natural ingredients are too expensive or unavailable. At first I was discouraged when people would say, why is a professor collecting garbage? But now I'm heartened by what I found. More like fascinated by what a bag of garbage and a walk on the beach could tell him about the secrets of life in North Korea. Paul Workman, CTV News, London.